development of any progressive society is always pegged on a healthy nation devoid of diseases which most of the times are preventable. Only if there is a fully fledged provision of efficient healthcare services to everybody everywhere. <laughs> Tingi sa tadonji rumu karumu nyakatuo na nuhu. Hospitali ya Russia ni hospitali ambayo inyatipu magonjo nyingi. Kwe ya meno, kwe ya tumbo, kwe ya TB. All sorts of uh, diseases mm -hmm. are being treated here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the surface is provided by the hospital. Mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it is enough. Mm -hmm. When he was very sick, he could not see it, but I'm appreciating now, obey. If we look at facilities, and get facilities, we can access Things like blood, kakanya, pina nine ungere, kakangazewa. We are training in JTRH, that is Jaramogyo Ginga Odinga Stitching and Referral Hospital because it's the best. It has so much resources. It's a government hospital and um, it gives us the best experience we need in nursing. Year in, year out, Kenyans spend close to 1 billion shillings annually seeking medical attention abroad, an amount which if spent locally can boost the growth of the Kenyan economy by leaps and bounds. Sadly though, medical tourism has been the bane, characterizing the falling standards of the Kenyan healthcare system in the early 90s, largely due to lack of trust in our local healthcare system. Fast forward to the year 2017, a lot has changed and the state of healthcare has improved so much in all counties, Kisumu being no exception. It is against this background that the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital prides itself as a premier of health provision which has greatly reduced the many cases of health problems ranging from maternal and infant mortalities which have been at an all-time higher for many years going by the National Health Survey statistics. Serving over 5 million people in the western and the south regions of Kenya, Jaramogi Oginga, Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital, or as popularly known as Russia by the locals, provides the highest range of health services and deals with complex health conditions. The hospital was built with support from Russian government. That's why it gets its name from like Russia. Uh, it was built in 1965, that's when the construction started, but the hospital was officially opened in 1969 by the first president of Kenya, uh, President Mzejo Mokenyata. By then it was 200 beds, and it was serving a population of probably less than 100,000. The hospital has grown up to now to 510 beds, the population has grown to over 5 million. We are serving the whole of Western Kenya, North Rift, and even the borders of Uganda and Tanzania. Patients do come to us. The hospital is likely used by three major learning institutions in Kisumu as a training facility. It also serves as a major research facility for the latest disease trends and the latest landmark laboratory findings in the region. We have a wide range of specialties, uh, special science, like we offer ENT here, we have orthopedics here, uh, we have general surgeons here, we have cardiothoracic surgeons, we have dental surgeons, and uh, the obstetricians. Uh, we train people here in Maseno University, this is their training ground, so is Uzima um, University, 
and we have the KMTC and other mid-level colleges, Marcelo, Nyabondo, Kenya Medical Training College, all these come into this tier for their experience. And when they come, we teach them, we train them on how to scrub and how to be part of the surgical teams out there upon qualifying. So I think that's a good thing about our institution and we are proud to be here and proud to work for our people. Our department handles plans with the performance challenges, that is inability to perform body functions, mainly in children. This is acquired at, during a gestation period when the mama is expecting or during delivery or after delivery. Anything that happens to the brain and brings a damage, the child ends up in uh, having neurological deficits whereby is not able to perform all the body functions. So the occupational therapist department come in in doing what we call neurodevelopmental stimulation. Today, the facility has increased capacity to handle renal cases and patients in critical situations. It has a 13-bed capacity ICU unit that is fully operational, handling at least three referrals on a daily basis. It also has a 17-bed capacity renal center, having been operationalized in 2014 and has since reduced tremendously the cost of dialysis for patients with renal complications. In the past, all dialysis cases were referred to either Tenwick Hospital in Bomet or Kenyatta National Hospital in Nairobi. Again, we have um, uh, the ICU that patients who difficult sometimes refers and get patients who actually need ICU after surgery and they can't get it where they are. So this attracts people to come here and our ICU is really functioning. We've got renal units, those patients who are coming down with the um, um, renal shutdown, we basically uh, dialyze them. The systems are up here, we dialyze them after surgery and I think we improving post op outcomes for this hospital. Now, looking at the statistics, like the, the theater in China, as was telling us, we got an average of 3,600 cases that we're doing per day, but that's the average because sometimes we need, we do up to more than 20 patients in one single day. I mean, we have the machines, like um, the theater where you are, we're able to do complex surgeries. We're able to do very complex orthopedic surgeries. And the coming in of the cardiothoracic surgeon, we've opened the heart several here. So I think that gives a plus to the hospital now in terms of advancement in what we are able to do. The facility also prides itself in having the state-of-art dental unit with the top experienced dental doctors at your service at all times. It takes just less than 20 minutes to attend to you. It is also important to note that all key referrals on dental care are made at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. The equipment used here are the state of the art providing top comfort to users compared to other facilities in the region. The hospital also thrives in the best pediatric care with the former USA President Barack Obama having aided the construction of a children's swing in 2009. During his visit to Kenya, the Children's Center has been hailed as one of its kind for providing best health care in the locality and beyond. Most of our patients we see are very sick patients who come, many are referrals from the periphery, and we receive them many times on very sick conditions, but many times we have the, our doctors and nurses on hand, so we continue taking care of them. We also admit straight from our patients, and we believe we see up to up to 10 to 15 new cases a day. But most, most of them are very sick. If I find a child is convulsing, having a severe anemia, severe pneumonia, dehydration, all those, basically all medical cases in children, we see here. And we admit from zero day to 12 years of age, as we don't charge, it's only the mother who pays for the bed caretaker pays for the bed is 250 per day, but about five years they pay per, per day. Children are charged per day. Otherwise, we only charge the services we offer. 
kuna na biro hospital rasia obama tiet nikech tiet ma obama ne mora kaluwore gi dakteche ma obama ki biro gi nyathi nyathi na biro go ka ni hali ya mauti but sani to koro ngima nikech kana biro kode no rach kabisa to dakteche ma obama ber nikech gin dakteche ma kidonjo gi nyathi to gikawo action piyo piyo with the ever increasing number of patients to the referral hospital, the infrastructure adjustment becomes a necessity to comfortably accommodate the huge number of patients and to provide better, if not the best services every single day. So there are many other new developments that have come up in the hospital, but uh, as we are 510 beds, the number of patients, remember I've said the catchment is over 5 million. So that means sometimes patients do share bed. Being a public facility, we cannot turn patients away. We have plans to expand the hospital. The expansion is a bit on the slower side because of finances, but rest assured that in the next two, three years, we will be in a better state because the finances has already been allocated. As it is evident from the clients and the doctors, many for the experienced staff, well-equipped departments, affordable Medicare, and speedy diagnosis prefer the hospital. This has impacted on a sharp rise in the numbers of referrals from the whole of the Western region and the South Rift Valley. The implementation of the ongoing strategic plan for Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital couldn't have come at a better time in the realization of efficient and effective delivery of healthcare services to the local communities. As such, the future looks bright to the delivery of the highest standards of healthcare unrivaled in the Western region of Kenya. Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital setting the highest standards of healthcare in the region.